Nick Clark for Beat TV, and today we got Frank from My Chemical Romance. How are you, Frank? I'm doing all right. For a burden. Jared, your front man, he's been quoted as saying that emo is a pile of bullshit. Fans of yours have sort of reacted strongly against that. Do you agree with his sentiments? Or? Emo started out when they were trying to classify music. Emo always meant emotional. Any kind of art or music should be emotional. If it's not, then it's pretty much just a jingle selling bleach or pizza, you know? Uh, as far as the, the title emo, it is a pile of bullshit. It's just a category or a name that they have to put on things to put records on a shelf. The, the fact that emo is attached to your guys' sound, do you feel like some bands that you're being sort of lumped in with are effectively dragging you down in terms of the way the public perceives you? Like a Fall Out Boy, for instance? <laughs> no. I, Panic at the Disco? As long as bands are, are out there creating music that's from the heart and they're not full of shit, then I have no problem with them. Some bands are full of shit. As far as being lumped into anything, I really don't care. It's a name, and the name holds weight from the user because they, they give the meaning to it. Emo is going to be a derogatory name. They can call us jerks, they can call us white trash, they can call us emo, they can, it's the same thing, and I don't really care. If I concerned myself with everything that was written on a message board or in a magazine or set on TV, I wouldn't have any time yeah. to, to take a shit. And, and, and what would happen then? Yeah, what would you do? You'd be all backed up. <laughs> it's pterodactyl. Apparently at a festival recently in the UK, somebody threw a bottle of urine at your singer or something. You stand in, a, in an audience to pee in a bottle and throw it at somebody is beyond me. I mean, I guess, you know, you're standing out there all day, you really gotta pee. Uh, it makes sense, I guess you gotta pee in a bottle. Just go but... to the toilet. What's wrong with <laughs> well, you? Well, I read the book, uh, Get in the Van by Henry Rollins. And they were getting piss dumped on them back in the 80s. One bottle of piss isn't gonna fucking make me cry and go home. It takes more than that to make you cry. Any plans to head back in the studio yet? Yeah? We're looking forward to, to the rest of the touring, but we are really looking forward to writing. So Another concept album? Who knows? You know, we won't know until the songs are written and until uh, the thing starts to take shape. When we write songs, when we write records, we let the record kind of grow on its own and uh, tell us what it wants to be. So it could be, it could be anything. I hope you don't get any uh, bottles of piss thrown at you tonight. Good luck for the show and Thank great speaking much. to you.